Use the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x to show that root 4 minus x is equal to 2 minus a quarter x plus kx squared plus etc, where k is a rational constant to be found. So first of all, if we have root 4 minus x, um, in general for binomial expansion as well, it's easier to write things in terms of powers. Um, so we can write anything square rooted is the same as to the power of a half. So if we write that out, um, it automatically becomes a lot easier for us to solve. Uh, now, secondly, when we're doing binomial expansion, we need things to be in the form of 1 plus x to the power of n. Um, and you can see we have the x and we have an n, but we need this 1 to be there. Um, and at the moment, in its place, we have a 4. Uh, and so to get rid of this, what we can do is we can take it out of the bracket as long as we keep the power on it. So if we keep it as 4 to the power of a half, then we can take it out of the bracket and we're left with 1 minus a quarter x because we also have to divide the minus x by 4 or still to the power of a half. Um, and obviously 4 to the power of a half uh, square root of 4 is 2. Um, we can assume it's the positive one for this kind of question. And we're left with 2, bracket 1 minus a quarter x to the power of a half. And although that isn't identical to the one we have in purple over here, um, it's close enough that we can use it um, because we have a 1 and although we don't have a plus x, um, this doesn't matter because there can be any number in front of the x as long as we have the x there and we do. Now, to finish this equation, um, the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the power of n is the general formula, uh, is 1 plus nx plus n multiplied by n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus etc. Because that's as far as we need to go for our question, because you can see up at the top that we only go to x squared. Um, so that's as far as we need to know our binomial expansion formula for this question. But it's very important when you're doing a question like this to check how far they want you to go, because sometimes they might go a bit further. Um, so now we have this formula. Um, we can use it on the question we have. So we can keep the two that's outside of the brackets separate for now, uh, and we can come back to it a bit later. Um, so if we treat this like the formula before, where n is now a half, and instead of x, we say minus a quarter x, um, we can say that 1 minus a quarter x to the power of a half expands out to 1 plus n, which is a half, multiplied by a quarter and minus a quarter x, plus a half multiplied by minus a half, over 2 factorial and then multiplied by minus a quarter x all squared and it's important to remember it's all squared and it's not just the x that's squared plus etc close bracket uh, and now if we simplify this out we get 2 bracket 1 minus an eighth x minus 1 over 128 x squared plus etc close bracket and now all we have to do is multiply everything through by 2 so we're left with 2 minus a quarter x minus 1 over 64 x squared plus etc and you can see that this is in the exact same form as the question has up here uh, and we can say that therefore k is equal to minus 1 over 64 uh, and this is a four mark question uh, and for our first mark we needed to write root 4 minus x as 4 minus x to the power of a half and then simplify it further to 2 bracket 1 minus a quarter x 
to the power of a half, that all gets us our first mark. Um, our second method mark is attempting the binomial expansion at all. And then we get an answer mark following that for actually getting this correct. So we get a mark for doing it at all. And then a third mark for getting the right numbers. And then fourthly, uh, we get an answer mark for the whole question, which is just finding that k is equal to minus 1 over 64. And that's all four marks for the question. A student attempts to substitute x equals 1 into both sides of this equation to find an approximate value for the root of 3. And question b asks us to state, giving a reason if the expansion is valid for this value of x. So to find if an expansion is valid um, using the general rule. Um, so if we use when it's 1 plus x to the power of n, we can say that this, and this is a general rule, is valid when the modulus of x is less than 1. And this is just the general rule that we use um, to know if an expansion is valid. So if we now apply this to what we had in our expansion, which was 1 minus a quarter x to the power of a half, we can use the exact same technique to say that this is valid for, but instead of x, we use minus a quarter x, just like we did in the expansion, um, how we replaced x with minus a quarter x. And then this is still less than 1, because we still have the 1 there. Now, if we just rearrange this by multiplying both sides by 4, we're left with minus, modulus of minus x is less than 4. And now the function of the modulus function um, is that it makes anything negative positive. Um, so regardless of what's within these two lines, um, this becomes positive. And therefore, we can say that this simplifies to the modulus of x is less than 4 because it makes the negative positive. Um, and therefore, if we've been given x equals 1, and x equals 1 is definitely less than 4, we can say that the expansion is valid because x equals 1 falls into the limit of the modulus of x must be less than 4.